Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of place value relationships. This is standard 3.2b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 4 off the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a number here, 583,000. 436. We need to find the relationship between, they've given us two spots, thousands place, tens place. Well, let's rewrite this a little bit bigger. 5, 8, 3, 4, 3, 6. Let's take a moment to actually build a place value chart. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of draw it like this. We've got that comma that separates the two periods right there. All right, so we should notice that we've got our ones, we've got our tens, and we've got our hundreds, right? This is our ones period or our ones family. And then the pattern repeats, right? We've got the thousands period or the thousands family, and it's 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, right? You don't necessarily say the family name uh, when you're looking at that very first family, the ones period or the once family, but after that you always say the family name at the end, whether it be thousands, millions, billions, tr trillions, quadrillions, so on and so forth. So we're looking for two different places here. The thousands, all right, so that would be my one thousands, so I'm going to put that right here, and then my tens place, that's going to be right here. Okay. So I need to find the relationship between those two. And you notice the digit is three in both, same digit, okay? So let's do this. Let's write the value of each of these, okay? So this is a six in the ones place, so that's worth six, right? This is a three in the tens place, so three tens is worth 30. We want to do a little bit of expanded form. Four in the hundreds place is 400. Then I need that three in the thousands place, so that's worth 3,000. Eight in the ten thousands, it's going to be eight ten thousands or 80,000. And finally, that five in the hundred thousands is 500,000. So that's expanded form. Why does that help me? Well, I'm going to pull out these two numbers here. What's the relationship between 3,000 and 30? Hopefully you see that they look very similar. The difference is one has got more zeros than the other. Specifically, the 3,000 has got two extra zeros. If you take those two zeros away, you're going to get 30 and 30, okay? So here's the thing with our place value, right? We've got to be able to describe this with words, but I wanted to show all of this to you so you can see how our place value works, right? So if I were just to write just not even necessarily the digits, if I were just to write the place value, Right, this would be my ones, my tens, my hundreds, my thousands place, my ten thousands place, and my hundred thousands place. If I don't take into account the digit that's sitting there, you notice I just add a zero. I've got no zeros, one zero, two zeros, three zeros, four zeros, five zeros. I add a zero because each time you multi you go to the left, you multiply it by ten. It gets times ten. So 1 times 10 gets me 10, times another 10 gets me 100, times another 10 gets me 1,000. When I multiply by 10, I just put a 0 at the end. So I'm multiplying by 10 as I go to the left, and then I am dividing by 10 as I go to the right. And that's what's happening here as we get smaller and smaller, we're dividing by 10, so on and so forth. So I need to go two spots to the left. I want to find the relationship between the thousands and the tens. Let's start with a smaller one and move two spots to the left. So what did I say we do when we go from our hundreds to my thousands? Or 30 to 3,000, same thing. Well, every time I go to the left, I multiply it by 10. I multiply it by 10 once, twice, okay? So what happens if I multiply by 10 twice? Well, 10 times 10, that's 100. So the ones place right here, goes to the tens place, and if I wanted to jump to my thousands place, it would be 100 times greater. The answer is C.